Tom. My games that you have been most enjoyment I've had in weeks. You are a skilled Pazak player. And you have won yet again. Here are the armor components as I promised. I hope you're still interested in playing. But it appears I have nothing left to bet. We can always play for the sheer enjoyment of the game, though. Uh, perhaps another time. I'll be going. May your journeys be equally fortunate, friend. Uh, we got the Bonded Plates Mark II, the Environmental Underlay Mark I, the Armor Ply Plating Mark II, the Ballistic Shielding Mark III, and the Bio-Restorative Underlay Mark IV. So we got a lot of good stuff there. Also, hello everybody! Tom Fox here, back to more Star Wars Knights of the Republic II, the, uh, Sith Lords. In the last episode, we came here to Dantooine, uh, and got recognized as a Jedi, as, and, uh, people ran off in, uh, in fear of us. In this episode, I'm gonna make a quick stop back at the Ebon Hawk, because I might be able to fix up that HK droid? Well, check it again. It can't be anything else. Just check the damn connector. I don't trust the diagnostics any more than I trust you. Theory? Because I don't like droids. They break. In the head. DT! Well, whatever you call that thing on your head. DT! Yeah, well, if I'm mean to you, it's because I care. I, I guess that was just an, uh, an interaction between the two of them. I guess that might might just mean that my influence has gone up with them. HK unit? Uh, step away. Wait, I bought it. Wait, I bought an HK thing, though. Was it a part that I already had? Must be. All. Uh, you can't. Oh, filter. Wait, filter? Oh, that's just the filter right there. Weapons, armor, usable, quest, miscellaneous? Quest? Pizak side deck, sonic imprint sensor, Ethorian key, spacesuit, data pad, holdout blaster. I swear I bought a droid part. Here we go, HK control cluster. Looks like the Duraceal shells uh, kept it intact despite the damage. And it it's just miscellaneous, but I can't put it in this HK unit for some reason, so I guess there, there goes that. 250 credits down the drain. Uh, I'll take the Handmaiden and Beodur. Oh, I love the influence I have over my over my chums to make them quite delightfully evil. Oh, can't you see how enjoyable it is to be just absolutely evil? Anyway, we'll go back to Kunda and uh, figure out the uh, the issues that are plaguing them there, and hopefully not be too not have too much issues with me being a jetty. Save often in different slots is the advice given, which is actually what I do between every episode. Oh, this door just leads to the hallway. Well, I need to go to- Ah, you have called me. Have I not told you that I don't like interruptions? Now, this is a disruption that is most welcomed. This news bears some thought. You have done well. This time, do not interrupt me again. Preparations need to be made. Another was not expected so soon. Uh... Another interruption. You must not have heard who I am. Um, uh, this is a little concerning. Uh, alright, here we are in the office. The militia, and you must be... Adare. A visitor. Please, come in. Welcome to Kunda. I am Administrator Turina Adare. You're the owner of the, um, ship that just landed? Uh... I came in that ship, yes. And unless I'm much mistaken, that's the Ebon Hawk. That vessel has been on Dantooine before, during the war. That was a Jedi vessel. Uh, I'd prefer if you kept that quiet, Jedi don't seem to be like here. Uh, get to the point. My point is that the previous owner of that ship was a very influential Jedi. And Jedi are not as admired here as they once were. Right or wrong, our settlers blame the Jedi and their hidden enclave for their suffering. I remember the old Jedi Masters and the considerable help they lent to Dantooine. I still maintain discreet connections with Jedi. I suppose your arrival here is no coincidence. Uh... What do you mean by that? I feel I must step carefully here. 
You are not like other Jedi I have known. You seem darker somehow. Uh, you would change your appearance too if you're being hunted across the galaxy. Yes, I understand. Say no more. For good or ill, I feel you are the only one remaining who can help me with the present situation, my friend. Let's just call him Frock. We've known each other for many years, and our continued friendship could create many problems in the current political climate. He came to Dantooine not too long ago. He was looking into something quite important. He's gone missing recently. Did he send for you in case something went wrong? Uh... He sent for me. He said you'd fill me in on the situation when I arrived. We need the skills of a Jedi more than ever. He was helping investigate Asgul and his mercenaries. But he had his own errand to run in the Enclave. Jedi business of some sort. He went into the sub-level, which isn't without its dangers. And he hasn't returned. What, what, uh, what are the dangers in the sub-level? Like many parts of Dantooine, the sub-level of the Enclave has become infested with dangerous creatures. Large, vicious insects called Lagrex have made the sub-level their home. Several salvagers have reportedly been injured or killed by the Lagrex. I would expect a Jedi to fare better against the creatures than the salvagers. But Vrook has not returned in some time. I'm starting to fear the worst. Would you be willing to go to the ruins of the Enclave to look for him? Uh... Use some supplies to ward off uh, danger of the ruins, or credits. From what I know of your type, you have all of the equipment you need to deal with the sublevel. I do realize the Jedi ordered disbanded, so you must find credits yourself, however. The sub-level is dangerous enough that the salvages have not managed to properly search it. There are many artifacts of value. Normally, I ask for a percentage of all salvage. In your case, however, you can take whatever you find without the customary tie. I will have one of the militia transmit permissions to the Enclave's security door. Go expecting danger, for you will most certainly find it there. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Uh, what was Master Vrook doing for you? He was investigating the mercenaries for us. We've been increasingly concerned about them. Their behavior has always been antagonistic, but recently they've been behaving differently. Vrook was investigating this when he disappeared. We were counting on any hard intelligence he could provide. Our other assets have been unavailable recently. If you find any information on the mercenaries during your stay on our planet, please report it to Zeron or myself. Uh, let's see. Do the people of Dantooine really hate the Jedi? To most people in the galaxy, the distinction between Sith and Jedi is a blurry one, especially since most Sith were once Jedi. It is complicated by the fact that Malak and Revan were great heroes of the Republic and famed Jedi Knights. But a few years later, they were leading an armada, which threatened everyone. And here on Dantooine, the Jedi Enclave provoked a brutal occupation by the Sith. It could have been far worse, but even now the damage has not been fully mended. Hmm. Can anything be done about it? I don't think everyone hates Jedi. If just a few people changed their minds or spoke up, it could make a great deal of difference. I think that we need the help of the Jedi. If the Jedi's reputation isn't redeemed, the consequences could be quite regrettable. Until then, I would keep your identity secret. Uh, is there any work I can do here? There are plenty of opportunities to assist people on Dantooine. Too many, I'm afraid. I would go to the militia headquarters and make your intentions known there. Besides that, just listen and ask around. Uh, I'll be going now. Journal entry added. Hello. I heard a rumor that the Administrator met with a Jedi. If that's true, I'll quit. Dang. Those filthy Jetties. And their returns. The returns of the Jetty. Baron Modril. What brings you to Kunda? Do you have any troubles to report? I'm here to help. I just hope you aren't here about Garavik. Uh... I've had no problems the militia needs to worry about. Who are you? Seem Who are you? Well, call me a defective protocol droid. Uh, manners, right. I'm Baroon Modril. I'm Captain Zeron's right-hand man. I help run the militia here. Well, that makes it sound more important than I am. Zeron takes a hands-on role in running the militia. If you have any real trouble, you'd have to go to him anyway. Uh, doesn't sound like you approve of him. 
And nobody likes their boss hanging over their shoulder. Uh, this is sensitive. It's not really a secret, though. A lot of people are upset with Zeron. He's a hard man and doesn't answer to anybody. Except, I suppose, the administrator. The thing is, he expects everyone to follow all the laws. That's not normally a bad thing. But the mercenaries are used to having a bit more freedom. So, it's like Zeron keeps prodding a ranker with a stun stick. To a ranker, it's just a minor nuisance. But if you keep at it, he's gonna fight back. The mercenaries aren't unreasonable. They're mostly just war veterans looking for work. But Zeron just keeps poking them. So he has to get involved to make sure that the militia does what he wants. Otherwise, we'd probably give the mercenaries some room. Hmm. Can anyone do something about it? Oh, with some people, if you give them a little room, they'll take a lot more. Dantooine has had mercenaries on it for years. I've talked with some, and they're not unreasonable. There's got to be some sort of compromise we can both live with. Uh... You might be right. It's tricky. You see, I think Zeron may be taking this whole thing a little personal. I I'm not sure. Just a guess. Interesting. I also think he's doing more to provoke them than just investigating every complaint against them hard. He's up to something. If someone could just ask a few questions, turn up some answers, maybe see if Zeron isn't being completely honest with the rest of us, well then maybe he should be replaced. Uh, I'll look into this. Is there any chance I can get a reward? Definitely. The militia makes sure to reward anybody that helps out Dantooine. And if he's doing something risky. So if you happen to find something out like that, you should see Administrator Adare. If you have to do some footwork to check into things, you'll be compensated. We should probably talk about something else. I hate going behind the captain's back. I just feel... Uh, I just have a feeling about it. Well, it's more than a feeling. Seems like Dantooine has a lot of trouble. I don't even want to get into it. Ask around if you want to know the details. It'll just make my headache worse if I talk about it. I don't know what we'd do without Administrator Adare. She managed to plow through a lot of the family bickering once the Sith left during the war. She's kept us together. Oh, and, uh, Zeron too, I suppose. Uh... I might cause some, uh, some trouble of my own, actually. I see. Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to go over the militia rules, then. Kunda and the salvager camp are under militia protection. So a friendly scuffle is all right. But if any blasters are drawn, there will be hell to pay. But if you buy some Jedi trinket and you're not satisfied, you're on your own. I'd stay away from the mercenary camp. We've had... difficulties with them. We don't patrol or investigate there anymore. A trip there and you're on your own. Follow the rules and we don't have any problems. Oh, and Pato Ado doesn't cheat as far as we can figure. So don't complain about the Athorian either. Uh, I'll be going now. All right. Stay out of trouble now. Sure thing, friend. Adam Larp, this is the weapons guy. Greetings, fellow sentient. I notice that you are not heavily armed, or at least not heavily armed enough. Please allow m to myself to introduce myself. I am Adum, a simple merchant with a noble purpose. The settlers and other fine humans of Tantooine have uh, been plagued by war, cathounds, kinrith, mercenaries, and other fearsome troubles of late. It is much, much too sad to see these things happen to such humans. Therefore, my mission is clear. Selling arms, right? You are astute human, and quite correct. To overcome their troubles, they must be able to defend themselves. Therefore, I offer highest quality of weapons at lowest low of low prices for them. I am here to offer you in much, uh, in the way of weaponry at low, low prices. How could any sentient pass up a bargain? Weaponry it is. Weaponry I have. What is it you would like this fine day? Let's see what you're selling. Yes, here it is. The best I could find in this world. Uh, any armor? He does have armor, but not a lot. Here to stealth unit. Um... Exchange casual gloves. Sith power gauntlet. Strength plus three. Damn. That does cost a lot, though. Uh, space sensors. Arcanian blinders. Uh, immunity to stun fear and horror. Weapons. Do you have anything? I'm wondering if he's got anything named. No, it doesn't seem like it. These all seem like bog standard stuff. Force pike, 5,000 for a Mandalorian Heavy Blaster. It is upgradable, I guess. 800 for the War Axe. Dang. Yeah, not really much I'm gonna get out of this for the time being. Private door. 
The door is magnetically sealed and cannot be opened. Militia... Zeron. I'm the militia captain here. Are you here because you're in trouble or looking for it? Uh... I'm looking for it for the proper price. Depending on how greedy you are, we might have some work for you. Before that, though, you got any other reason for coming to militia headquarters? I don't know, Liam Neeson. Let's see. Uh... Just exploring and getting to know people. Hmm. There are better places to explore and better people to know. I'm sure you have your reasons, though. I'm sure you got questions of your own. And if you're interested, I might have some work for you. You want something? Uh, what's uh, Garavik's connection to the militia? Some of the salvagers went deep into the ruins and found a lot of Jedi relics. It's the most valuable all the salvagers ever got. But all the salvagers that went down there are dead. So it seems every day or so, some salvager comes claiming they're owed by such and such, or that they're related. The whole thing makes me sick. Garavik says he won the whole claim in a Pazak game with the last survivor, right before he killed him. But that was a fair fight. There were witnesses, but nobody remembers Garavik ever playing Pazak. I just hope someone takes this blasted claim off my hands. I'm tired of those low lives pestering me. We've got real work to do. You want something? Uh... Barun asked me to investigate. Just go behind his back immediately. What sort of work do you have? I've seen a lot of visitors come through Kunda. You're the first one in a while that looks the capable sort. We have a small problem with Kinrath. Maybe you've already seen some of them. They're coming from a cave in the Kunda Plains. I take care of it myself, but there aren't many people in the militia. We'd lose too many men. There's a reward if you do it. Uh, how much is the reward? 2,000 credits. With so few settlers, lives are much more important than credits. I agree with you, but I don't barter. I got more important things to do. Dang. Uh, I'll see what I could do. That's all I can ask. You want something? Uh, can I ask you some general questions? You really should talk. How do you feel about the mercenaries? I don't have anything to say about that. Uh, what do you know about the administrator? She's smart. She gets things done. The whole place would fall apart without her. Dan Tween isn't the center of much of anything. Our most talented people sometimes leave. Hard for someone to stay a farmer when they have the itch to do something greater. So we're lucky the administrator never went elsewhere. I bet she'd make a decent senator even. Uh, how's the militia doing? There aren't more than a dozen of us, and there's too many problems. People keep hoping that the Republic sends help. But we gotta help ourselves. I like to talk about something else. Uh, Barun asked me to investigate you. He did, did he? What's this about? Uh... Concerned that you might provoke the mercenaries. He's trying to reach a comp... comp he's, uh, he's, he's concerned that you might provoke the mercenaries. I know we don't agree on this, but he's crossing a line. He lives in his sheltered, settler world. He doesn't know what some people are capable of. So he's asked you to go looking into what I'm up to. If I didn't need every last man here. Uh, I think he's wrong and I think I could help you. I appreciate. Hmm. All right, I can use your help. But you can't tell anyone. There's a mercenary captain near what's left of the Jedi Enclave's courtyard. His name is Dopak. Just tell them that I said, go ahead. That's all. You have questions, but it's like this conversation never happened, got it? Just do it. It'll help out Kunda. We can talk more later. Interesting. I'm, uh, I'm more than curious to see what the, what the command of go ahead means. Private door, locked magnetically, cannot be opened. Security room. Looks like you need a key card to open that lock. Uh, that's the military room. Is there anything else in here? Was, I think there was more to the north. Yes, there is. Private door. It's uh, There's probably a bunch of these places that I can't get into, specifically because they're, uh, this place is still like the Matali residence. But, I wonder if I can get some rapport here and actually be able to explore in this area a bit more. Yerevik. Another interruption. Another, another interruption. 
All right. Uh, and you had you had issues with something else that I could take care of as well along the way to my other. So let's take a look at our journal. See what we got. Uh, you convinced Zarin to trust you. He asked you that you give Dopak the mercenary uh mercenary camp message. If you don't trust Zarin's motives, then Baruna or Terena, I don't know who Terena is, may wish to know Zarin's secret message to the mercenaries. Cave crawling, relics of the past, and uh, lost in the shadows. So I got to find a thief. Uh, you revealed yourself as a Jedi to the wrong person. This may compl complicate your efforts on Dantooine. Um, Rebellion HK-47, Lost Jedi, that's part of that thing. And new fuel source and false Batu. We actually don't know about the... Uh, your prisoner might be trying to find out who hired him and why. So I have no idea where to start working for that. Maybe Nadar Shah would, could be a, would be a good place to start. I know you can still level up, but you're not gonna level up until I get to 18 because that's when uh, that's when we can do battle again. I do want to see how uh, how far down this path some of my some of my companions have gone. Seems currently I'm the worst of them, unless you count the droid. Oh, whoops! I wanted to. There we go. Time to fill out the map. 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 Uh, ooh, a plasteel cylinder. I can steal your Mr. Steal your stuff. I get chemicals. It's me, Chemicles. That door is locked. Presumably goes to a security room. Whatever. There are the turrets as well. Somebody could take care of some of the stuff around here. I never. I also never caught up with that guy who was like, "The oh, Jedi." Uh, there's a Kinrath right there. Let's kill it! With our ever-faithful kill command. I do have, uh, that new... Yeah, crush opposition. Oh, I should really take you guys off aggressive. But these Kinrath don't seem to be that much of an issue, so... As long... Just so long as everybody was kung fu fighting. Remote still hasn't recovered any of its health. That concerns me. We're all a bit poisoned, but that's fine. We'll recover it faster than we can dish it out. Jedi support, stationary, ranged. There's really not much I could do. I want to try casting Crush Opposition just to see what it what it looks like. Uh, it really doesn't look like much of anything. Drain life. Force lightning. Or I could, you know, kick it to death. That works too. Give her a hole and a ha and a hoi ya and I kick her, sir. Classic, uh, classic, uh, the film Anastasia. Oh, they go down so smooth. As long as I'm not using any sort of jetty stuff, I should be fine. Plasty Arcanian, uh, heavy pistol and a Sith war sword. Hello. What? You shouldn't sneak up on an old fella like that. You shouldn't be out of here anyway. This is Kinrath territory. I retired Duke Nukem. What are you doing out here? A couple weeks back, there was an accident here. One of the western fringe farmers was coming to Coon on his swoop with a load of atmospheric sensors. We found him dead and his swoop bike all banged up. I've come back a couple of times to try to figure out if that's what really happened. Do you suspect foul play? I do. The Kinrath are dangerous. But as long as you stay on your swoop bike, there's no way they should catch you. I've carefully searched this area and haven't found anything. So maybe our man just got sloppy. We really need those atmospheric sensors. But Dantooine is temperate. There is no need for atmospheric sensors except for seasonal data collection. Huh? It's just important we get it back. They're expensive pieces of equipment, and we can't afford to replace them. Regardless, I don't suppose you'd be willing to keep an eye out for something. Uh, is there a reward? <laughs> there is. Oh, there is. A good one, too. I doubt you'll be able to find any evidence of what happened here. But you might come across the atmospheric sensors. They have to be somewhere. If you find any of them, just come back here. I'll pay you a thousand credits for each one you can find, even if they're broken. Damn! Any idea where they could be? No idea whatsoever. I figure it's a real long shot you'd ever spot one. 
but I also figure it wouldn't hurt to ask. I'll see what I can do. Journal entry added. These swoop bikes and speeders seem to have taken quite a hefty amount of damage here. We've established, like, getting quests so far in this area, but haven't really done much about it quite yet. We're working at it, though. There's plenty of Kinrath out here to kill. I don't know if enemies respawns. I'm not sure if it's worth it, but there might be stuff over in those areas where the Kinrath are. Man! It hits multiple of them as long as they're, like, in, like, the straight line. Four storms should be... Because I remember, I think in the, uh, the old... I think in KOTOR 1. Oh, actually, what do we got here? A cave. The Crystal Cave. Uh, you know, like Final Fantasy Chronic Crysticles. Uh, let's check out this cave then. If there are any remaining uh, jetty weapons left, then maybe, just maybe. <gasps> Batuilek. The mercenary ahead doesn't notice you. He appears to be walking past a Kinrath unharmed. Yeah, Alright, but kill them, but don't do anything stupid! Follow that Merc, I suppose. If we hang a distance, I'm sure he won't notice us. <laughs> oh, wow, I'm dead. These, uh, these Kinrath, I tell you what. Master power attack! Away! Away! Oh, that did a lot of di He's coming back! He's coming back! I don't know if I should be noticed by him or not. Like, that's, that's, that's the big hot button issue right here, is whether or not I should, like, be noticed by him. If I, or if I need to- I don't to... know about that. You don't know about what, uh, the sensors? They are vitally important pieces of equipment on tectonically or environmentally unstable regions. But, do you really need atmospheric sensors on Dantooine? Hmm. Can you examine one of the sensors? I'll have this open in no time. Child's play. Inside the- there's the- there's the mercenary right there. He's just walking through us. Inside the atmospheric sensor there's a hidden surveillance device. No wonder, uh, C-Day wanted them so badly. Good work, Bowder. Gotta wait for this guy to walk away so he doesn't catch wind of us. I don't hear his footsteps, so I'm assuming he's gone. Sensors provide strong evidence that Xeron is endangering relations with the mercenaries. Influence gained. I have no idea where that- Did that mercenary walk down here? It's so hard to tell. Oh man, once I get the second drain life ability... Oh, but like, you're done. That's it. Good night. Good night, Irene. Oh god, he sees us. Uh, kill! Drain life! This will teach you. No, 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 no! Oh god. This will teach you. I don't really have much use for Kreia being in the party, because I'm pretty sure I've maxed out her, uh, her influence, I think. I'm not entirely sure. It's a little hard to tell. All right, well, I filled myself up. Hello? Ion grenade, what's going on here? There's a jail cell? Metal box. 
A lot of stuff around here. Hyper Battle Stimulant. Thermal Detonator. Good grenades, good grenades. And a pile of rubble. Life Support Pack. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and... Ins we'll give him a little bit of the insane -o juice. And we'll drain the life from him, shock him, even. Oh, Lord. No, 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 insanity. You stop that. Take him down. You're all right, Handmaiden. I can't heal you because I don't have that power, but. I do want to ma map out all these uh, these different areas. Hoping to get maybe like a cutscene or something. Uh, flexible underlay Mark III. A hive Kinrith. Kill. Drain life. Drain life. Oh god, your brother saw us! Where are you going? Insanity! I like how one one thing that kinda that's kinda neat is how like Baudor isn't that great in combat, but at least it, he at least he has a partner. Uh rubble. Construction equipment and parts. Are disturbed. I can feel them from a great distance. Like a shiver running through you. This place affects me strangely. There is a tingling in my forehead. Force-sensitive locations such as this absorb and reflect force energy. The crystals are the catalyst here. I sense that Revan once passed through here, leaving a strong impression behind in the crystals. Perhaps future Jedi who visit this cave will feel our presence as if seeing our footprints preserved in the soil. Uh... You said crystals absorb the force? I feel strange, but not weaker. The crystals here do not drain force energy from Jedi. They collect the excess energy that radiates from those attuned to the force. Tell me more about the crystals. The crystals here are infused with the force. Some could be harvested and used for lightsabers. Okay. <laughs> oh! They came out of the woodwork! I want to make sure all of them are caught in this before I before we continue on here. Although they seem very weak compared to the other ones. All right, I think we got it. God, how many of these are there? This one seems to be the the big one. Is this the yeah Kinrath Matriarch? Let's get this thing quickly. Journal entry added. Well, after that, I'm thinking that next time on the Star Wars Night's Guild Republic 2, rather, uh, we pal around here a little bit and figure out what we can harvest from these crystals and this Kinrath nest. See you all then. Later.